Hi everyone, in this script demo, I'm going to show you a script that helps you find out what controls are there within a target window and also where they are located by moving the mouse cursor to the location of each of the controls. If you are interested in the script, please continue watching. All right, welcome back. So I've got the script up here and this script contains two hotkeys, F1 and F2. And obviously you can change these hotkeys to whatever you want. Let me demonstrate to you first what these will do. So I ran the script now. If I press F1, it will give me the list of controls that are present within the active window. The active window for me was site. So I got this list of controls showing up for a total of 10 seconds right and f2 will go through each of the controls within that list and move my mouse cursor to each of the controls so if i go ahead and press f2 now it will show me the list of controls first and then move my mouse cursor to each of the controls within that list so if you look carefully you can see that my mouse cursor is moving around within my site window. I also have an emergency, emergency exit of exit button to exit out of the script. So my mouse cursor is now freed up. And let me show you another example by running the same in Microsoft Word. So if I press F1, I'll get the list of controls within Microsoft Word. And if I press F2, my mouse cursor will move to each of the controls within within the Microsoft Word program. Okay, uh, let me exit out and explain to you just quickly how this works. So F1, which gives you the list of controls, utilizes the winget command and outputs the control list, list of all the controls within the active window in the variable called C list and display that C list within this tooltip for 10 seconds. F2 does the same thing initially, and this time I've used the winExist function to grab the ID of the active window, which will be used later on, and grab the winget, by using the winget command, grab the list of the controls within that window that, con that has the the handle ID and then run a loop three times which will be three seconds because within each instance of the loop there will be a slip of one second display the tooltip that shows you the list of all the controls and do a countdown of three seconds and then it will go into another loop and this time it's a pass pass the text that con it, that is contained within the C list variable, which is the list of all the commands, and pass it by a line break. And the first thing it will do within the loop will be control get pause. This command will give you the position of the control that you provide in this parameter. A loop field is the name of the control um, that the loop is looking at. Oroaki ID HWND is the the pointer to the window and con X, con Y, con W and con H are the X, Y coordinates of the control and width and height of the control. So the X, Y width and height will be saved into the variables called con X, con Y, con W and con H and we won't use the con w and con h that's not necessary the next command mouse move will move my mouse cursor to the position of the control which is represented by the variables con x and con y now this line is commented out you can uncomment it to perform a click um, x pixels to the right and um, 10 pixels to the right and 10 pixel to the bottom from the position of the command and display a tooltip that 
shows you the name of the command that you're looking at and performs a sleep of one second before moving on to the next loop. That's it for this script demo. This script will be made available on my website. So if you want to learn how to access the script, please continue watching the video until the end. And thank you for watching and I'll see you in the next video.